starting a series of banjo lessons from scratch on how to hold the instrument, uh, what kind of picks to get, how to use your picks, and starting at the very beginning and we'll progress through with a series of lessons. After about the first month and a half, they will be patron supported lessons. Um, I'll give you a little bit more information on that. Let me tell you a few things about myself. I've been playing bluegrass banjo since I was about 16. And uh, then I kind of got into claw hammer banjo. And if you notice that the banjo I'm using is not a bluegrass banjo, it does not have the resonator. It is an open back banjo, but it will work fine for what we are going to be doing. And it does have a, a Dobson tone ring, which gives it a much brighter, more of a bluegrassy type song or tone to it. So I know that's blasphemy for some of you, but this is what we're doing here. So I'm gonna offer these lessons. Um, the first probably six, first month and a half will be completely free lessons. And if you want to continue the lessons, you can do so, so through Patreon. So these will be Patreon supported lessons. And if you're not familiar with Patreon, you are not paying for lessons. Uh, if I charged for private lessons, I would charge $20 a half an hour. Uh, actually, probably $25 a half an hour. But through Patreon, you're not supporting, you're not paying for the lessons, you're supporting the work I'm trying to do, which is to make lessons affordable to everybody. And yes, you can get them, you know, on, on YouTube. Uh, that's not what this is about. This is supporting and supporting traditional music and trying to keep these lessons coming to you. And the way I do this is you get a brand new lesson every single week and they will be numbered. Uh, so we'll start with lesson one, lesson two, lesson three and they will be continued. So for hammer dulcimer, mountain dulcimer, or claw hammer banjo, I already have about 70 lessons up there for those instruments, and this will work the same way, but will be Patreon supported. If you're not familiar with Patreon, you can actually become a patron for as little as $5, and you can also, of course, give more than that, which is also very much appreciated. That's what it will keep these lessons alive and keep them coming. So this will be pretty much structured. Uh, once you're a patron too, I can help you in a lot of different things. Uh, some of the the uh, patron tiers will have 10-minute uh, lesson checkups or 10-minute lessons, things of that nature. But let's just get started with some, some basics as far as playing the banjo. So this will be your first, this will be your introduction and your first lesson. So what you want to do, you want to, you don't sit back and slouch like I was just doing. You want to kind of sit up and you want your banjo so that the neck is sort of over your shoulder. All right. You don't want it down here. You want it up here. All right. Now, I can actually pretty much let go of this, but it's because I don't have the resonator. I've got the brackets that are holding it in place. But you want, to, you want it to be pretty much comfortable. And if nothing else, you want this arm on the armrest right here, and I'll change the angle here, to be able to hold that up so this hand is not having to hold up anything. So what I'm gonna do in this lesson, I'm just gonna give you a few different picking patterns that I want you to practice, and then we will be teaching you a tune. Uh, probably in the next lesson, I'm also gonna give you some left hand chords. So I'm kind of giving you a lot in this first lesson to catch you up to make sure that you know what you're doing and what you need to do. All right, uh, very quickly, the short string is your fifth string. So your strings go from the bottom up, one, two, three, four, and five. The other thing is this is tuned, we're gonna be playing mostly in, in G tuning. So when you tune your banjo, your fifth string is I'll pick up here for now, is G, D, G, B, and D. When you strum your banjo, you are playing in 
the key of G. You're playing it, that's an open G tuning. Now, if you go to my YouTube site, and I'll put a link in there, and you go to Tips and Helps, I have a thing, uh, a video called Understanding Chords and Keys and things of that nature. That will also help you understand how your banjo is set up if you, if you need help with that. You don't have to know that. You do need to know how to tune it. You do need to know that we're in G. I, and as I said, I don't read any music. There will be no tab with this. But I want to get you started on some picking patterns and also on some left-hand chords. All right, so take your time with these lessons. It is not a... The lessons will be up there uh, on my site under the playlists. If you go to playlists and it'll say Bluegrass Banjo, the lessons will be up there. As I said, one through six will be available to anybody. After that, it will be Patreon uh, supported. But take your time with the lessons. They're not going to go away. Uh, if you've heard me teach any of my other worksh or workshops or in these lessons, it is not a race. It's a journey. So slow down. Enjoy the journey. All right. So let's get started. So let's talk about our right hand. First of all, you're going to need a plastic thumb pick. And when you see the thumb pick, it's going to look like this. You want to put the flat side underneath and the point will be facing toward you. All right, keep that all nice and snug. The finger picks, now I'm going to show you later on as, as we get through the lessons, a more comfortable finger pick than this. These are fine to start with. You probably already have these and they go on this way. A lot of people will put them on that way. They don't go that way at all. Uh, they go underneath just like this and you want it to extend out just past your fingertip. A little bit there. See if I can show it to you right there. Okay, so one of the most important things about playing bluegrass banjo, and this is something if you're just starting, you will be needing to be reminded of. So you may want to have somebody walk through the room every once in a while and check up on you until you get this down, but you want to anchor your pinky on the head. And you could do it right kind of beside the bridge. You could do it a little bit in front. And actually, as you get into farther lessons, you'll move that up here. The important thing is this finger needs to stay down. You don't want to pick without that anchoring. You'll never, ever get the speed you need if you do not anchor. So I may remind you several times to anchor. So what you're going to do, there are different rolls on the banjo. And when I say rolls, R-O-L-L-S, and uh, what I want you to do, I want you to learn uh, just two in this lesson because we'll actually teach you a song starting with the next lesson. If you remember, I said the strings from the bottom are one, two, three, four, and the short one is five. So I want your thumb, make sure you anchor, your thumb is going to pick down on three. Your index is going to pick up on two. Your thumb is going to pick down on five. And your middle finger is going to pick up on one. So you're playing thumb, index, thumb, middle, three, two, five, one. I'm going to change the angle a little so you can see this a little better. Three, two, five, one. You want your fingers to be curled. You don't want your fingers out like this and try to pick like this. Your, your fingers are curled. Your hand is curled over your banjo. Over the head, make sure you're anchoring. So let's turn that again. Three, two, five, one. Three, two. Thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb, middle. You want to play that nice and slow. Sometimes people get in the habit of doing this. You don't want to do that. One, two, three, four. One, two. Four, that's your timing. Your strings. Three, two, five, one. Three, two, five, one. Three, two, five, one. Thumb, index, thumb, middle. This is called 
either a square roll, some people call it that, I usually refer to it as an alternating thumb. Three, two, five, one, thumb, index, thumb, middle. When you do a, and this is what I want you to practice specifically, the three, two, five, one, it doesn't matter what string you're hitting. What matters is your order of fingers, thumb, index, thumb, middle, because you could play four, two, five, one. You could play four, three, five, one. So you could also do three, two, five, one, four, two, five, one, three, two, five, one. But for the sake of learning the song that we'll be teaching, I want you to play three, two, five, one, three, two, five, one. So that is a box or alternating thumb roll. Now, something you can do, even if you don't have your banjo with you, you can actually do this and practice because what you're doing is you're teaching your hands to play. You can actually go thumb, index, thumb, middle. You can't just wiggle your fingers. Thumb, index, thumb, middle. You can actually anchor on your leg. Let's see if I get my leg up here. You can anchor on your leg and go thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb, middle. So you could be sitting in, in your car. You could be sitting, waiting in the line at the grocery store and just sit there, thumb, index, thumb, middle because you want to teach your hand to play that role. I'm going to show you one more role. This is called a forward role. And the pattern is thumb, index, middle. Thumb, index, middle. Thumb, index, middle. I'm playing five, two, one, five, two, one, five, two, one. Make sure you're anchored. If you're not anchoring, make sure you're anchored. and steady and like both rolls you want to start getting your speed up all right but remember it is not a race it's a journey so take your time and like the other rolls it doesn't matter if you're playing five two one you can play three two one three two one three two one you can play five three one five three one you can play four two one what's important is you're playing thumb index middle thumb index middle thumb index middle so make sure that you memorize this and can play this try not to look at either hand or you wouldn't be looking at your left hand try not to look at your right hand and just try to play that so you want to work on three two five one slow and steady and then forward roll five two one five two So that's what you're going to do with your right hand in this lesson. Your left hand, let's move on to that. So we're going to show you three chords, a G, a C, and a D7. And I'll also show you how to make chords, but I'd also recommend that you go to the playlist, which will always be there uh, regardless of whether you're a patron or not. The, the Tips and Helps playlist is on the is available. And there's one on how to fret, which I'd recommend watching. Uh, there's some on uh, specific banjo chords for G. I would also recommend that. Even though it's claw hammer, it's really the left hand we're talking about, so it doesn't matter. So the first chord is G, and you're already making it. It's an open chord, so you do nothing. All right, here's how you make your C. You're going to put your ring finger on the first string, second fret, your pointer finger on the second string, first fret, and your middle finger on the bass string, or the bass, the fourth string, second fret. Now, if you're just starting, what some people do is they do just sort of like this. You know, they'll start in the pointer, which is fine, or here. And what I do is I kind of roll up. So I start with my ring. Now, if you notice when I make my chord, I'm not doing it individually. I'm just, it just goes there because I've taught my hand to play. And here's how you want to do that. After you initially make that chord, what you want to do, you can just strum it. If you hear a note like that, that's probably because you're touching the fret bar. Or if you feel, I'll give another one, it's the third string. It's because the back of this finger 
is touching. So you want to be on the tips of your fingers. You don't want your arm to be out funny. You want it to be relaxed. Just, just kind of like you're grabbing it like that. And your arm is hanging down loosely. And what you want to do is make that chord. So make your C chord. Make sure you're getting it clear. And then simply release the pressure. And strum again for your G. Put it back down. And try to do it in unison. So, I'll say, release that chord and people will do this. You don't want to do that. You want these fingers to hover directly above those strings. All right, and then I'm going to show you one more chord. And, and if we started from here, I'll show you both ways. Basically, what you'll do is you'll move this middle finger down to the third string second fret and lift up that ring finger. That's a D7. So if we're going from G to D7, you're putting your, your pointer finger down on the first string. I'm sorry, on the second string first fret and your middle finger on the third string second fret. And do the same thing. Okay, so you can play G, C, G, D, G. Now, I'm going to explain something, and please, 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 uh, in these videos, I'll tell you to pause, I'll tell you to, to learn something before you move on. If you do that, that's going to help you so much. If you just try to push through, it's not going to help you at all. After, 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 you get the right hand, 3, 2, 5, 1. without thinking, then try to add the chord. So you'll play three, two, five, one. Now here's, ooh, got a storm coming in. Uh, here's what we're going to do very quickly. Do not, do not, do not try that until you can make these chords. Do not do that until you can do the, the right hand pick, picking patterns. When you can do both of those independently, comfortably, then try to put that together. But don't, if you're still struggling trying to make your chord like this, do not try to put in that other picking pattern. And you will get this. Now this, this may take you a little bit of time. This is a little bit harder than, you know, the picking patterns. And that's true with everybody. They have trouble with their left hand. So don't get discouraged with that. So I hope you enjoyed that. That will be your first lesson. And in the next lesson, we will teach you how, we'll start teaching you how to play a song. So thank you so much. Uh, I put a link to, if you want to begin supporting this program, I would truly appreciate your help. And I will put a link in the video description and at the end that will show you how to do that. Otherwise, just enjoy. And I hope this lesson is a help and a blessing to you. We will talk to you very soon.